This is Twit. All right, so my app in the arena, this browser caught my eye because it has uh, a lot of, it, 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 it's got a lot under the hood, and it's a lot to take in for a moment. So, Burke, I'm sharing my screen uh, like I did last week. So if you want to try hitting that link in the dock, you guys should be able to see my screen streamed across the Internet to you. It's in the red column in the dock. But the app is called – and I'll vamp a little while Burke does that. The app is called Snap Search. And what it is is a browser that uh, – that at first glance is focused around kind of uh, the merging of the web browser experience plus uh, flexibility and uh, unique controls of search engines. But underneath it, uh, there's actually a lot more to look at. So there you go. There's my screen. Good job, Burke. Yay. So if I hit the snap search icon um, and loads up the browser, and at first glance you see, you know, it seems very busy, right? Um, and actually, what's happening here is that this is kind of like a you know kind of a homepage as it, as it might 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 appear. Um, and up top, there's a little daily quote. You can save the world by staying in. Uh, you can turn that off if you want. In fact, I'm going to turn that off, and it will go away. Um, and then you've got up top, you've got the the uh, search bar. You can choose which search engine you use. Um, and specifically where you want to search, everything from Google, Google Maps, DuckDuckGo, Yahoo, Bing, if you want to use that. Um, but you can also filter the searching you know, through entertainment sites or news sources or social networks or whatever. So it's really kind of a uh, search device on uh, steroids. Um, and then below that area in that little um, – in the little box area, you see all the different kind of – uh, customizations that you can do. And I'm going to turn on this tooltip so you can go through, so we can show what the browser toolbox gives, gives. But it's got a VPN baked into it, so you can turn VPN on or off for extra protection. Um, you can uh, save your search engine preference, so it will remember your, your search engine that you're using, um, so you don't have to pick it every time. You can turn on, uh, you can toggle floating windows, um, which will allow you to put a browser on top of your screen as you're using it so you can use other apps while still have the browser window available. Um, it's got an ad blocker as all modern browsers now do. Um, you can also turn off images um, if loading websites uh, fast or uh, you've got data limits if you're in a part of the world, you know, you want to turn images off because you don't have as much data um, access. Um, and then uh, you can go full screen browsing. And then, of course, like I mentioned, you can turn off those little short messages on the main screen and play with the themes. So there's a lot there under the hood. Um, on this main screen, you also kind of get a trending news screen um, that you can when you have premium, you can filter out by genre or you can um, filter to change the country. Um, right now it's set to the world. I haven't unlocked the premium stuff yet because I wanted to show what those premium benefits are. Um, so when you unlock premium, uh, basically you can uh, utilize the VPN services. Um, they give you more kind of website options there for search, um, give you the ability to access websites offline, um, unlimited bookmarks, which I think is kind of funny. Um, and uh, all that news customization, and that's just two ninety nine, and of course the themes. It's two ninety nine a month. Um, but now this is where it gets really interesting because um, at first I was like, wow, that's a lot. That's a lot in there. Um, but I'm just gonna do a search for Android here, and we can see what the search experience looks like. And it pulls up a little pane with the, with the uh, browser window, and that's the standard kind of Google thing. But if I hit the uh, hamburger menu. You get a lot of options for every page. You can turn on the floating browser. You can save the website offline. You can save it as a PDF, save it as an image. You can add it as a bookmark, right? You can you can control all this stuff from the browser window, which is a lot of uh, options. But when I was playing with it, I was like, wow, this has pretty much got everything that I need when I'm using a browser. I often, you very quickly want to copy the link to send to somebody. Well, that, it's right there. You very quickly want to share the link, you know, and, and trigger the share menu. It just, it, it goes right there. Um, you know, it, it just seemed it seemed to be a lot of functionality and a lot of options and a lot of control over your experience um, in a you know somewhat you know easy to find, well designed manner. Um, the request desktop site I think is fascinating. You can flip between uh, desktop versions or mobile versions. You know, as often many websites uh, have like an AMP version or you want to go to the full desktop version. Um, so yeah, so Snap Search, uh, a lot packed in there under the hood. Uh, it's two ninety nine a month to unlock the uh, premium features, um, or you can do an annual uh, subscription. How much was that? I think that was um, what was it? It was uh, I forget what it is. Anyway, but uh, you know, 
definitely worth looking at into what the uh, benefits are. Yeah, twenty dollars for an annual subscription, so you can support your devs. Uh, spend twenty dollars and unlock all those features. Snap Search, uh, secure search with VPN, uh, and crazy uh, functionality under the hood. So there it is. Snap Search. Nice. Snap Search. Awesome pick. Yep. 